guys, it's Roya, and today I'll be talking about how to use acceleration graphs in order to find change in velocity. Now, as we learned in the previous video, velocity equals acceleration times time. And if we were to look at this velocity graph here, um, its corresponding acceleration graph would look like this, because the acceleration would be constant. Now, if we wanted to find the change in time, or, I'm sorry, the change in velocity uh, from this point to this point, um, we would multiply a times t. And as we learned in the video with velocity graphs and position, this is the same as the area under the graph. Um, so in this case, the area under the graph would be a rectangle. And all acceleration graphs in APB and SAT2 physics will be rectangles because um, we'll only be working with constant acceleration. Now, um, let's say that th this time were 10 seconds and the acceleration were 5 meters per second squared. Now the area of this would of course be 50 meters per second because you have 50 meters, um, I'm sorry, you have 5 meters per second squared times 10 seconds. And this cancels out um, 1 second in the numerator and 1 second in the denominator and therefore you are left with 50 meters per second and these are the units that you have left over. And this of course gives you the change in velocity so now we can label this velocity graph as 0 here and 50 here. Now let's look at a, an acceleration of 0. The acceleration graph would still be a straight line, it would still be constant but it would be 0 and therefore velocity would have no change. Um, it would be constant velocity too. But as you can see, acceleration is still constant because it's a straight line. 